Hello, and in today's video, we'll be showing you how to download the NIMP wallet. There are a couple of ways to build and install the wallet to your machine of choice. The wallet is a desktop application and is available on Linux, Mac and Windows based machines. You can download the wallet directly from the NIMP website, navigate to nimtech.net forward slash download. Once on the download screen, if you scroll down, here you can find the latest version of NIM software for your operating system. I'm currently working on an Apple Mac laptop, therefore I'm going to download the Mac OS version of the wallet. Once the wallet has successfully downloaded, the installer goes about doing its thing. And now I'm presented with the wallet itself. I proceed to continue and I have successfully installed the wallet to my machine. Once you've successfully launched the NIM wallet, you're presented with a sign in and create account button. So if you're a first time user, proceed to select create an account. Here you are presented a 24 word mnemonic. I highlight, keep this safe and write it down. This is the entry point to the wallet and your NIM address. Store it somewhere safe and never disclose it to anyone. No one should ever ask for your mnemonic. Once you have your mnemonic ready, proceed to go back to the sign in screen and then enter your mnemonic phrase. As a quick note, we are constantly working on enhancing the wallet and in the near future, you'll be able to log in with password protected screens. Once you are ready, select the sign in button. You now have your newly created NIM wallet address. Once you access the wallet, it defaults onto the home screen. This page renders your NIM balance along with your wallet address. A few things to identify on this page. In the top left corner, we have a network selector. This enables you to switch between our environments, our sandbox environment and mainnet. Therefore, if you already have an existing wallet address in the sandbox environment, you'll be able to flip the network selector to mainnet and this will generate your wallet address for your mainnet account. This also means your mnemonic will be the same. I like to highlight it's up to you as an end user to decide if you want to have separate accounts for each environment. But for ease of use, we've made it possible for you to have one account for both environments. Thank you.